The, the triangle is that of a perpetrator and uh, the victim and then waiting for the rescuer. And, and I've realized that this is a triangle that somewhere along the line um, during our childhood, or definitely in my childhood, this took shape um, where usually one parent uh, becomes the perpetrator. Uh, you didn't do your homework. Why did you do it this way? Why did you do that? You were a bad boy. You should have not done that. You know. So then we go into the position of being a child, being helpless, being a victim. And then we're waiting for the other parent to come and rescue us. And you know what? I think you know, out of 7.85 billion people on the planet, perhaps most of us, we really are caught in this triangle and we're not even you know, aware of it. But the issue with the triangle is that it's one dimensional and it's flat and it doesn't really give us space. So one of the things that I usually create is, look, there is a triangle. But is there a way that you could observe it from up here? And once we do that, now all of a sudden we have a three-dimensional structure and we create what's referred to as mental space or clarity. You know, it's a larger cup and we're able uh, to go through our lives and to be reflective and to really heal and to apply loving to places inside that they're hurting.